So let's discuss about uploading the videos to Publitio and how the process works. So let us select a video. Uh, this is the MP4 file. Um, one of the things that one of the most important things is to allow URL based transformation for the videos or effectively won't be able to create a new version for you. So this is just a logo of a dummy logo and if we go into the view file of it uh, at, the, at the bottom there won't be any uh, versions right now so I'm just going to go back okay if I go over it it should start creating the thumbnail so the thumbnail has been created and if I go into the file now we're going to see uh, what was generated so th there have been few files generated first one is for ATP version so our system immediately no matter how, how big quality is of the video it will start generating 480p version uh, the reason for this is uh, so the system can start playing as fast as possible the first version of the file uh, and it generates lower quality video uh, as you can see it says H480 which means 48p now uh, depending on the status there can be uh, ready it can be pending or in uh, conversion and the red one is if it uh, failed now if you didn't allow transformations none of this would be existing right now and we would not be able to play the video but you could uh, go to the original file and therefore play the original uh, video now if we want to create a higher quality video and optimize it for the web streaming uh, we, need to, we need to understand one thing and that is that even on a YouTube or any other streaming website there is a time uh, consuming process that converts videos into the playable and web optimized uh, formats. So for example, if you upload the file that is bigger than uh, 100 megabytes or 500 megabytes or one gigabyte it doesn't matter, YouTube will not play it. Neither will we uh, if you create uh, optimized version. So when you upload a large file and you directly link to it, uh, for example, if this was a one gigabyte file, Publitio would start streaming one gigabyte file, which is completely crazy. Uh, and it does not make any sense to do that because you would burn your bandwidth very fast. And that's why we create for a, for a, for ATP version in order to reduce the bandwidth load. As you can see, even just this, this example, the 480p version is 88 kilobytes. And the original one is 294, which means we optimized uh, three, uh, almost four times the video size. Now, if you want to expand this uh, and you want to create uh, a HD version of the file, which is H80P, when you click create, the system will initiate creation of MP4 file and the file has been generated and as you can see even this file is more than three times uh, it's exactly three times smaller but this is mp4 180p web optimized version so this is the process that you have to take in order to generate high quality video uh, and also the standard for the youtube is also 720 which basically covers all needed formats 480p, 720p and 1080p that you can find on any streaming website. Now when you have finished this process and you have generated all the versions, you have 480p, 720 and 1080, now it would be smart to take this file and embed it to your website. So the first step is we need to go to MD player codes and Publitio is going to give us a few options. Uh, we're going to work now with the first one. So 
when I go to the page, as you can see, it's empty in its file. And I'm now going to go into the code. So this is the template for a web page. It doesn't have anything on it. So I'm just going to embed uh, the source code that we have just copied from Publitio. And I'm going to save it. And let's see what's going to happen on the website. see the video has started playing I'm going to make some changes so the original file has 480p version already created so what I'm about to do is I'm going to create 1080p version which at this moment does not exist So what I have done, I have changed the version of the file to the different quality 1080p. Uh, I have deleted the converted versions that we have all done on the website just to be able to show you how this works. So when I save this and when I reload the page, you will see the loading bar, which means that the Publito is currently generating the requested version quality. So, so the important thing to know is that video usually converts about the same time as its sizes. So if it's three, four seconds, usually it takes five seconds to convert it. If it's 10 minutes, it might take four or five minutes for video to convert. But now we can play 1080p. Now, because I have uh, called this file from the Chrome, when we inspect this, file and we go down to the conversions we're going to see that we have generated 1080p webm version so the chrome supports webm it's optimized version for video uh, streaming uh, it keeps the quality of the video and optimize it for the bandwidth usage and uh, we generated webm version now the different browsers support different types uh, if we use Safari, it will generate MP4 because it does not support WebM. Uh, the Firefox supports uh, WebM. It would work. Uh, for Opera, you would have to generate OGV format because MP4 and WebM didn't work. But maybe they have made changes. But in the essence, uh, this is one of the workflows that uh, you have to do in order to make everything to work. Now, in the future, uh, we are preparing uh, new players, uh, which will automatically have option for user to select uh, which quality of the video they want to use. Uh, it will be automatically uh, supporting all the browsers and uh, changes based on users' uh, network. But that's something that is uh, in the development right now. and it will be available as soon as it's developed. So this will conclude our tutorial about uploading the videos to Publitio and the workflow. And uh, if you have any questions, please do comment and uh, we will create additional tutorials on this subject or anything that you need. So all the best.